Welcome brother, we are in a war, this earth is a battlefield and the church is in the war front against the fallen sons of God, and we are opposed by ancient gods the rulers of the earth, that are colonizing the world of men, the Lord said, do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, in retrospective, I was invited to attend a church which was a congregation of Satan, for in the end time the church of Jesus has become a battlefield, as the arch enemy of God and men took control of many altars, not long after joining the congregation of Satan I began to see unexplained phenomena and paranormal activity, in truth my spiritual eyes were been opened to see the horrendous and the monstrous reality of the spirit world, that is inhabited by hybrid demon, ancient titans and mythological monsters, brother. The rulers of this earth are operating beyond the veil of the optical eyes. It was during my initiation that I began to work with the titans and ancient gods who ruled the earth. I saw ancient creature and horrendous mythological gods of ancient times. After my initiation in the occult I was given demons that was always with me, for wherever I went I was moving with dwarves demons. I was accompanied by a female devil and I was living with demonic creatures such as rhinoceros and demonic bird. After my initiation I was to be baptized and it was during the baptism that for the first time I saw the prince of this world, the arch enemy of God and the world of men, when the prince of this world showed up in this church, I saw his tremendous army on top of the mountain that rose up supranaturally before the congregation, the devil was accompanied with former sons of heaven, I saw humanoid giants of high stature and giants of ancient times, among the soldiers of the army of Lucifer, they were hybrid demons, mythical snakes, I saw mythological animal, the sight of the army of the enemy that is waging war against the kingdom of heaven and humanity was formidable and breathtaking, brother we are in war against former resident of heaven, for they have seized control of the earth and they are the ruler of this world, we are in hostility and conflict with the ancient gods of mythology and titans that are holding human race in captivity. These tremendous beings are waging eternal war against the kingdom of light, the dictatorial regime of the devil is holding the human world in chains and captivity, however you must know that no weapon that is formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord, the Bible say and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death. When I joined this church of Satan, I was assigned to steal the stars, the potential and the destiny of five young ladies, but I have failed to steal the destiny and star of one of these young lady, yet failure is always strongly punished in the world of Satan, the hierarchy was angry about this failure, as a result I was ordered to offer a human life as a sacrifice, in order to compensate this failure or pay with my own life. I was to offer a human life before an international gathering of this secret order, called Thanksgiving, this service of Thanksgiving was attended by the prince of this world himself, on that very day of Thanksgiving, I was supposed to offer a human sacrifice or pay with my life, yet on that very dramatic day, I got a call from my family, telling me that my son was in the hospital in coma, on one hand I was to offer a human sacrifice, on the other hand I was to, to go the hospital to attend my child that in coma, this was a punishment for failure to capture the star and potentiality of one of the five young lady that was our target, when I failed to capture the destiny, the potentiality and the star of this lady that was targeted by the world of Satan. The priest that was our leader got angry, in truth, the devil is poor, what he has is what he has stolen, for he only have what he has stolen, which are people's stars destiny and potentiality that God gave them. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. Quickly after attending the thanksgiving service, that was attended by the prince of this world the dragon, and his formidable army, I was to offer a human sacrifice, and failure to do so meant the death of my son that was in coma in the hospital, 
after the Thanksgiving service where I was baptized, on my way back home I saw the younger sister of the lady that I was holding in the hotel in hiding, this is the lady whose star and destiny I was to sacrifice but I was unable to do so because of her faith, I was supposed to capture his star and destiny but I failed, as a result I was punished and required to offer a human life in a sacrifice, the little sister was looking for her sister that I was keeping in the hotel in sequestration. The girl said to me I am looking for my sister, you were drinking with her in the bar, I replied to her I have not seen your sister, and I don't know where she is, quickly the young girl tells me, brother, I dreamed a bad dream for you, in fact I dreamed that you had died, be careful, since I was in hurry I ignore this dream of warning, when I arrive at the hotel I saw her big sister that I was holding in the hotel, she was asking me to let her go. Later on the priest asked me to let her go which I did. The priest then tell me to rush and find a victim that will be offered as human sacrifice, failure to do so will result at the death of my son that was hospitalized and in coma in the hospital, on that day at midnight, I pull out my pyramid and my star, I lighted candles and I got a big pot of water, quickly I began to summon the spirit of a twelve year old boy that I knew in the neighborhood. He was my target for human sacrifice, as I continue to summon and call his name through incantation and magic prayer, finally his spirit appear in the water that I had before me, when he showed up I could see his live images in his house, when direct image of this twelve years old boy appear in the water, quickly I saw that behind him there was a little boy at the door, playing with a little wooden stick saying whoever entered this house I will beat him. When I began to do magic formula and incantation, I was about to capture the spirit of this twelve years old boy, however something unpredictable happened, the little child that was playing at the gate with a wooden stick began to cry, as a result his parent came out of the house, I was watching this direct image in the water in my altar, while this little child was crying, I saw his parent coming out of the house to check what was wrong with their son, when they came out in rush, they saw a cat, and they got scared, as a result they enter in their house and they began to pray to God, for they were suspicious about this cat, people are always suspicious about cat in Africa, for witches often enter the body of cat to monitor people, cat are vehicle of witches, cat are camera of witches, when the parent of this little child began to pray, quickly a strong and powerful wind blew in my mysterious temple and scattered everything. When the wind stopped I lighted the cand again, and I prayed to the ancient gods for protection, in the meantime, the parent of the toddler were invoking fire from heaven, as they kept praying I began to see the fire of God in my mystical temple, immediately I asked for the intervention of demons that were in my temple, these demons that were my associate were hybrid demon, dwarves demons and monsters, after the devastation of this prayer, we gathered together and quickly we went out in order to attack and punish the parent of this toddler, when we arrived before the gate of this house, I saw that thing were grave and dangerous, for we encounter protective bright angels of God, they were cherubim at the gate, brother, if you pray with seriousness, make no mistake the protective cherubim are there around you, this was actually the first time for me to see the bright angel of God, in the past I have seen angel of Satan. I have seen the ancient titan and the olympian, basically, when we came against this praying family, I was accompanied with many giants, many monsters and demonic beast, this family was praying as result of fear of witchcraft, when they saw the cat, they did not take their prayer seriously yet they just pray, but there was power in their prayer though they could not realize it, they could not see what was happening in the unseen world when they were calling fire brother you must understand that in the night a little cat can turn to a huge dragon and demonic beast, I was accompanied by eagles of Satan and demons in these mission, however, when we saw these protective angels of war that were opposing us, I saw that there was a tremendous and intense light that was coming from their body, in fact we were blinded by this intense light coming from angels of war, I was trying hard to look at these celestial being of light but it was difficult to watch, I felt like we were surrounded, in the meantime while we were trying to identify these angelic being of light in this intense and blinding light, 
I could hear the voice of this family praying and calling fire and asking God to send his angels, they had no idea that angels of war were descended to fight for them, they just continue to pray, when I observe these warring angels, I saw incredible swords that I never saw on the earth, I don't know how to describe these flaming swords of fire of the army of heaven, it was breathtaking, when the angel moved their flashing swords against the giant and titans that were with me, you cannot imagine the destruction and bombing, there was stampede and we were scatter, I saw that these cherubim came with celestial lions and celestial eagles beyond description. These celestial animal were breathtaking and awesome, the heavenly lions and eagles attacked demonic elephants and demonic rhinoceros that came with hybrid demons against this family, we were overwhelmed and overpower, I was shaking, and I received a call from the priest telling me, I can see what is happening, I can see the battle you are facing, however whether you like or not you will offer the child in sacrifice, otherwise it is your child that would die, so back off and I return to the temple the priest told me you have no choice, you have to offer that twelve years old boy otherwise you die in his stead, immediately I remember the prophecy of the lady that told me I saw that you die in the dream, upon realization of death I became more determined, the situation was critical, I was in my office when I saw that I became half animal half human, I was transformed, my right side was that of a beast and my left side became monstrous, I could not even know who I was, I became something else, I had no choice but to sacrifice the boy, I told the priest don't worry I promise, I will definitely catch that boy, it's a promise, immediately I went on to fly around the house of this boy. I saw by far the guardian cherubim standing before the gate and guarding the place. These celestial warrior were breathtaking and tremendous, I could not approach the soul being, I wish that the Lord would open your eyes to see the army of heaven fighting for you, for when you see them you will never fear anything on this earth again. They are mind-blowing and formidable, however I was determined to sacrifice this child, servant of Satan don't give up they are determined, I was strategizing against this boy. When it was dawn I went on to do installation of snares, booba bee trap, I said in myself, in the morning this boy goes to school, when he wake up in the morning there is a place in their compound where his mother wash him, when I identify the place where his mother wash him in their compound, immediately I placed a snare in that place, I also deploy the demon of surveillance and monitoring in that place, then I went on to check where the boy play in the street. Once I found the place where the boy play. Quickly I deploy another snare and another monitoring demon, and when I saw one of the toy the boy play with on the ground, I decided to place a demon in that toy, the purpose of this demon was to cause misunderstanding and conflict between the boy and his friends, so that he would be in breach and infringement, this would give me legality to enter and destroy him, for anger a doorway in the spirit world. I was actually looking for a gateway of entry and legality in order to enter and destroy, while I was looking for legality, I saw where the mother dry the clothes of this child, I place a demon in that clothes dryer where they dried his clothes, I mean I had to mine the field when people were sleeping in order to get him, I was placing snare and trap around his neighborhood, for the bright angels of war were stationed there at the gate of that compound, and I could not approach, when people were asleep. I spent all night placing snares and trap, in order to capture the boy, brother, when we sleep we must understand that the enemy is at work strategizing against the day and placing snares, booby trap and trick everywhere, in order to cause us to fall, we are living in a minefield therefore pray without ceasing, for the enemy know the street we will pass in the day, he know that we will go to school and to work, that's where he will place trap and snares against us, the enemy will come to our school and workplace and he will use our colleague in school and workplace, God children must wake up early in order to undo and destroy whatever the enemy has work out as snares, trap and trick, for whatever happen in the day, happen first in the night in the spirit world, when we sleep there are always people plotting destruction and stagnation against us, on that day while people were sleeping I was placing mine everywhere, I was laying snares everywhere. I had to kill this child or died, my life was on the line, there is no mercy and compassion in the world of Satan.
When it was dawn I had already finished placing trap everywhere, I sat in a relative distance waiting for the target to wake up, when it was dawn, I saw a morning evangelist passing, then I saw a woman who was a seller of bread, she came to ask the mother of this boy the money for the bread that she took on credit, when I saw this saleswoman knocking on the door, I was upbeat, when I realized that the mother of this boy had debt, and she owe money to the saleswoman, quickly I said to myself, if the mother of this boy is in debt, if she owed anything to this saleswoman, this will be the gateway through which I will enter, it turned out that the mother of this boy was in debt for bread she took on credit, and this saleswoman came to collect the money, I said this is an opportunity for me to enter, quickly I enter inside the saleswoman, I mean I sent a demon of misunderstand inside the saleswoman, when the demon of misunderstanding had entered this woman, the unclean spirit began to talk in her mind and telling her to start a brawl and altercation with the mother of the boy, this demon that I sent in the mind of the saleswoman was the spirit of misunderstanding, we must understand that the mind of men is the battlefield of spiritual warfare, the devil often sent demon to attack the mind of God children, there are thought that come in the mind of God children that are caused by demon, demons always whisper in the mind of men, therefore this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you can repel the attack in the mind, when the demon of misunderstanding had entered the saleswoman, the latter began to say to herself in her heart, if this lady that owe me money does not pay the money today I will not listen to her, actually I told the spirit of misunderstanding that this saleswoman should not listen to anything that the mother of this boy would say, in order to cause them to have argument, brother, there are demons that come to the mind of God children and would begin to talk to them in their mind, this conversation will be in the form of thoughts telling them to do things, the demon can come in your mind and he will start telling you, if that person talk to you badly you should also react, you cannot let him put you down you have to show him that you are somebody, and that you will not let anybody humiliate you, demons always talk in the mind of God children, you will not know that you are having a conversation with an evil spirit unless you are filled with God word and God spirit, otherwise you will follow the instruction of the demon that is having a conversation with you in the mind, and do their bidding, so the demon was talking to the mind of this saleswoman, the saleswoman began to talk to herself saying this woman took the bread on credit she must pay today, she began to knock very hard on the gate of this woman, she could not know that she was knocking very hard because she was under manipulation, but the manner she was knocking on that gate showed the conditioning of her mind that was under manipulation, actually when the woman was knocking the gate, I was already in her body, I mean I have operated astral projection in her body, I had entered her body and I took control of her mind and she was under my influence, I mean when she was knocking this gate it was no longer her, I was the one that was knocking the gate using her mind and body, for I projected my consciousness and spirit in her, we must understand witches and wizard can enter and dwell in people body like demons, I was inside the body of this saleswoman and I was knocking on her door in a brutal way, in order to cause misunderstanding and aggravation, the saleswoman said her heart, I am knocking on her gate but she is refusing to open, today she will see, the saleswoman was already intoxicated by the demon of misunderstanding that was animating her, moreover, I had operated astral projection inside the body of this saleswoman, she was not the one knocking hard on the door, for I was inside her body through astral projection and I was the one knocking hard on the door in order to upset the mother of this boy. I was strongly controlling this woman action for I was in her body, I want to warn God children, when someone is aggravated against you, when someone speak to you in a rude manner, you gonna need discernment, otherwise you will react in the flesh, and you will think that the person is acting by himself, in truth, when the people of this world put pressure on God children, they are just instrument and tool, for there is demonic manipulation beyond the veil, brother whenever you are subjected to violence and unfair treatment, you need discernment to understand that there is likely a demonic influence and manipulation behind the person that is harassing and mistreating you, this lady failed to discern the attitude of the saleswoman was demonic, she failed to see the influence behind the saleswoman, right away she began to quarrel with the saleswomen, when I saw that they were quarreling, 
I left the body of the saleswoman, brother, I was operating like a demon for I was able to multiply myself in many duplicate, I stood in a relative distance observing the two ladies quarreling, when the father of the boy came out in order to calm these ladies, quickly I summoned the angel of discord and conflict to attack and influence the husband of this woman, as a result he joined the brawl between her wife and the saleswoman, these people fought each other and injure one another, as a result angelic soldiers that were at the gate left, when they have left, we had legality, quickly I capture the soul of the boy, and I put that soul in a bottle, when I captured the soul of the boy immediately he fell sick and was taken to the hospital, however, if only her parent could confess their sin and pray for their child they would have saved their son, I was instructed to follow the boy to the hospital and finished him off, when I went to the hospital to visit the child I met his parent, they asked me to land them some money for their child was hospitalized, I gave them the money they wanted, they failed to understand that prayer was the only weapon that could save their child, when I went to visit the boy in the hospital he told me uncle how can you let me die, brother, I knew this family and this boy, but I had already become demonic animal, I had the heart of a ferocious beast, there was no mercy and empathy in my heart, I went to the hospital with a drink that was blood that I offered the child, when the child drank it his death was sealed, her mother that was not a woman of prayer also asked to drink that juice which was blood, quickly the priest called me and asked me, why did you let the woman drink the juice, you gonna have to initiate her in the occult, she must serve us, two weeks later the child was dead, while people were crying in his funeral, I saw his spirit seating before their house, the soul of the child attended the funeral for three days, before going to captivity in the world of Satan, this family lost the war because they were carnal Christian, they had double life, they were neither cold nor warm, brother what you see little things in the day but in he night it can become great things this is a church where people stare a stolen where people are initiated on occultums, there was no pastor but priests that were leaders in this place, there were so many ceremonies and ritual in this place in this church, often when I operate astral traveling I would use any object around me, I mean I would turn it to an car or a plane in the astral world 020888728861 it was early morning when I arrived home I saw the mother of the young lady that I left in the hotel, she was asking me whether I was her daughter I denied that I knew where she was, immediately I went to the hotel, on the hotel, on there, 